UCF travels to the Simmons Bank Liberty Bowl uh, Stadium, Liberty Bowl Stadium, in Memphis, and Memphis is a three and a half point home dog. Uh, still no real update on Plumlee, I believe the quarterback for UCF. But I will tell you this: I think that uh, I think Keen is is pretty good at quarterback. I think that team is going to be just fine. It's three thirty p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN two. Let's pull up the numbers here, and I've got UCF favored by eight and a half, roundabout. Um, not not super surprising, I don't think, just based on uh, the last few weeks. Uh, UCF, of course, a massive win over Cincinnati just last week. This could be a weird sandwich spot for UCF, though. And I think that's why the line's coming down. Along with the quarterback news, uh, or lack thereof, you've also got UCF playing against Tulane next week. And that is uh, maybe a precursor to the AAC championship game, or uh, somebody could get knocked out of the AAC championship game in that spot. So, uh, looking at the numbers, uh, UCF's defense against the pass uh, definitely took a blow last week against Cincinnati. That's all Cincy could do. But they certainly were able to stop the run. Memphis's offense, number 90 PPA per pass, number 96 PPA per rush, those ain't good. Those are not good at all. Uh, while the UCF offense has definitely stepped up quite a bit, I mean, you look at what they're doing, especially on the ground. I mean, they are they are really, really good there. Um, they're, not, they're not great on offense, uh, excuse me, on defense right now because of the Cincinnati game, I believe. Uh, that and the ECU game. I mean, they just gave up a ton of yards to Holt Nailers and, and whatnot. I I don't know that Memphis can fully take advantage of UCF, even if they are uh, beat up. But again, we have seen UCF in a look-ahead spot, right? We saw it against ECU. They were looking ahead to that Cincinnati game. They took the loss to ECU. Now they came back. They beat Cincinnati even without Plumlee. I have to believe that even if they don't play their A game, they will still be able to get a cover here. I know it's Memphis's homecoming, et cetera, uh, but give me, give me UCF minus the three and a half. I think the talent gap is too large right now. I think uh, UCF just, you know, UCF has their eye on the prize, which is an AAC championship game uh, or an AAC championship before they head off to the Big 12. So I will, I will certainly roll with the Knights on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.